moving day highlights from the Web.com Tour Championship. The culmination of the Web.com Tour Finals held at Dyes Valley at TPC Sawgrass, a very challenging track. Starting off on the 12th, it's Russell Knox. Remember, he began his week 57th on the money list, well outside that top 50. Knew he needed a good week, and how about a tremendous approach shot here as he would tap that one in for birdie. He would go on to birdie 13 as well to make that three in a row. He enters Sunday in a tie for six at six under par. Jamie Lovemark now on the 11th. This for a huge par save to remain at six under. These are the kind of putts that keep you in contention. He gets it to go. Really nice par save there by Jamie Lovemark. He dropped just one shot on the day. He's sitting at seven under in solo fifth. Andrew Putnam now the little brother of Michael Putnam trying to join his big brother on the PGA Tour next season. Remember, Andrew is a rookie. Michael Putnam, a journeyman on tour, but Andrew looking like a seasoned veteran as he aces the 11th there, coming off a double bogey on the 10th, so gets it right back. He would also birdie the 12th to finish with a 3 under 67. He's in solo fourth at 8 under overall. Joe Durant now this on the 7th from about 30 feet out to get to 8 under par. He had all pars up until this hole. He's telling it to go, and the ball listens sometimes when you talk to it as he gets that one to go to get to 8 under par. Take a look at that. Started at 67, projected all the way up to 14th, and it will keep getting better for Durant. At this point, three behind currently are Chesson Hadley. This for another birdie, another long one with the flat sticks working. It is just working, and this is a great course to get the putter working on because these greens are undulating. They are not easy. This to get to nine under par on the 14th, par three. Remember, began the day, began the week at 67th on the money list. Projected 12th, though, as he sits in a tie for second at nine under overall. Scott Gardner now on the 14th. This from about 25 feet out. He eagled the first, made the turn at four under on his round, coming off a bogey on 13, so gets it back on 14. Then we'll head over to 18, sitting at nine under. Cheston Hadley held the lead for the majority of the day until he double bogeyed the last to drop back to nine under. So this right here gets Scott Gardner to 10 under par, which puts him as your overnight solo leader heading into Sunday. If he wins, he takes over the finals money list.